Here at Kansas City Power & Light, we have gone through an evolution. 20 years ago, everything was on paper. Uh, we were taking phone calls from customers uh, and trying to find those customers on a paper map and uh, seeing if everything was close enough together to where it grouped up into a larger outage. Today, the system does that for us. We had multiple different software systems that our operators were working out of in order to try to get the lights on. So we took the opportunity when we upgraded in 2014 to combine a couple of those systems into one so that the real-time information is feeding into the outage management system and working together to provide one look for the operator to operate out of. Getting that into a visual format allows the operators to respond more quickly. Since you connect at 3216 East 30th Street, KCPL has been the pioneer of the industry on the distribution automation since 90s. We were thinking about how to make the data display on the NMS viewer. Can we get the real-time data into the system? So that is basically the very unique requirement. We work very close with our um, dispatchers and we ask them to select the important points related to the operation. We reduced our um, dispatcher's uh, working interface from six down to two. The beauty of that is that they can remote control the 3,000 field devices through the GIS-based interface. It's all about getting people's uh, lights on quicker. Things like AMI coming in, uh, distribution SCADA, the, the knowing what device status is. If a uh, recloser trips, we need to know uh, that it has tripped. It's nice to know things have happened before the customer calls us to tell us that things have happened. Unified grid monitoring and control will, will be essential for the future. Clearance 5463. When a device opens in the field, it automatically opens the device on the map and shows the line de-energized. There's pull down on somebody's car, house fire, we could go in and preemptively de-energize that line from where we're sitting in the operations center before we'd ever get alignment out there. Sometimes lives can be on the line in these situations. Visualization uh, speeds up the process. It's almost like sitting down and having a video game in front of you to operate the system. The equipment we use is a lot more intelligent now than it used to be. We're able to operate it remotely rather than guys are always going to it. We used to have to go out and do routine maintenance that would determine if there is a problem or if there's not a problem. Right now, we're able to know where the lineman needs to go, where the possible problem is. Our restoration times have improved a lot. We're talking outages that impact thousands of customers uh, restored in a matter of a couple of minutes, whereas historically it would have been a couple hours before we even got anybody in to look at it. Some of those lines go over the river and through the woods, as we say, uh, and so patrolling those out to find the issues can be difficult. And so when we come to the fork in the road, we know which fork to follow. When we have large storms, having the automation on the system gives us more confidence in just maintaining the reliability throughout that storm. It's improved the safety. Less guys are having less exposure to a high voltage line when there's a possible problem. We're able to use the automation to restore it without being in the high voltage. Or the operators do it from downtown while they're in the truck or away from the equipment out of harm's way. I am glad to be a part of the automation process at Kansas City Power & Light. Creating change and staying in front creates a lot of opportunities for our customer and for the employees. We are excited to apply all the new innovation ideas to our system. The more information that we can get and the faster that we can respond, the quicker that we can get the lights on. Knowing that I'm part of the team that's delivering that power to our customers is, gives me a sense of accomplishment.